All right, Shalom, Makim, all praise, this honor, and glory goes to Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Murtakodash. Double honors to my apostles and elders, a great millstone, and peace and blessings to you brothers out there pushing out this word in true sincerity. All right, so real quick, I want to do a short video on this article on RT. Uh, I saw I saw this article the other day, so I, I figured I'll do a video. And, and basically, the, the the title to the the article is "White Helmets Making Films." of chemical attacks with orphans in Idlib um, and it's cited by the Russian military. Now, if you don't, if you uh, were up to date of what's going on, maybe a month ago, they had a chemical weapons attack, so to speak, in Syria, which gave uh, Esau uh, more ammunition to further his plans in Syria or, or to have a justification of him being in Syria. And that that was a, uh, you know, when I was watching it and watching everything pan out, that was totally expo exposed as a false flag. Which we know Esau, the so-called white man, predominantly uh, Esau here in America, okay, which they're all confederate with each other, all the other Edomite nations, all the European nations, NATO, uh, the European nations, the so-called white man, they're all, you know, joined hand in hand, hand in hand with each other, you know, they're brothers even though there's infighting within them but this is a this is a this is what the so-called white man does he stages false flags for a pretext or a pretense to go into different countries to overthrow the government to to kill people to say that you know oh the uh, Bashar al-Assad he's 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 a monster well the so-called white man how did you get how did you get america you you got a, you got america by being a monster by raping, by robbing, by killing, by stealing, by using chemical weapons, biological warfare. You you have done that. This is actually on the books. All right. So no everybody is getting hip to Esau's way of uh, ruling. All right. And this is just another uh this is just another expose on a so-called white man and his and his uh power structure, which the, the mass majority of the people in the world are well, I'll say people in, in America are totally blinded. They don't know what the hell is going on. These other nations know what's going on. They know that America stages false flags to go and over overthrow governments. Okay, and everybody wants to speak nice about it. But this is this is the elephant in the room, okay? That nobody wants to talk about. All right, so here's here's a little article. I'm gonna read a little bit. <laughs> the white helmets. Have shot at least nine videos intended to serve as proof and accusation that the Syrian government conducted a chemical weapons attack using chlorine against civilians in Idlib. The Russian military claims, and these and these claims are just totally outrageous. Okay, the so-called white man, he's outrageous in the things that he says. And the reason why he's able to do this because he has a platform to push out his his uh, lies, his fake news. All right, he has he has uh, the so-called Jew. He owns the media, so whatever, uh, what whatever um, narrative he wants to push, he's able to push it. But what's happening now is that the whole world is getting hip to these things, are due to the fact of the digital age. Everything's being exposed. You can pull out a, a, a camera and record things. Okay, everybody can be tracked, so to speak. All right, if there's a picture on the internet, somebody's gonna see that person. All right. So this and this happened, this this was the stage chemical attack in April, which this little boy right here was the the the, the poster child of the chemicals weapons attack. And and he pretty much said that he didn't know what the hell was going on. They they gave him candy and dates to uh uh, uh pretty much lie. So that's that's what's going on in these white hel helmets. Which I have this little uh, Wikipedia on white helmets. If you didn't know what a white helmet was, because these are little buzzwords that they push in the media, but the the mass the mass majority of people don't know what the hell is going on. They only know what the so-called white man tells them. So I'm gonna read a little bit of this article, and this is on Wikipedia of who the white helmets are. The white helmets, officially known as Syria Civil Defense. Uh, is a volunteer organization that operates in parts of rebel-controlled Syria and, and in Turkey. 
formed in 2014 during the S Syrian civil war. And why did this uh, Syrian civil war um, come to pass? Because the so-called white man wanted to overthrow the government. All right. The majority of the activity in Syria consists of medical evacuations, <clears throat> urban search and rescue, in response of, to bombing, evacuations of civilians from danger areas, <clears throat> and essential service delivery. As of April 2018, the organization claimed to have saved over 114,000 lives, 114 hundred thousand lives with 204 white helmet volunteers losing their lives in the process <clears throat> it says the group has been the target of disinformation campaign by supporters of Syrian president Bashar al-Assad and Russian sponsored media organizations such as RT which these these are uh, so-called Let's let's keep reading because with false claims of closed ties with terrorist activities and other conspiracy theories, SCD has been viewed by Bashar al-Assad government and its allies, such as Iran and Russia, as anti-government propaganda tools and proxies of rebels funded by the West. And this is essentially what the White Helmets are, they're proxies. They're rebels. They're they're uh, they're there to, to do the bidding of the so-called white man to cause mischief, all right, to overthrow the government, to cause dissension within the Syrian uh, regime. Not as uh, WHOs, which are um, which are uh, 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 what what do they call them? Non uh, NGO. I'm sorry, NGO, non-government organizations, humanitarian organizations was the White Helmets will be considered a humanitarian organization sponsored to, to help the humanitarian crisis that's going on in the, civil, the Syrian civil war, which in fact, they're backed by the, by the West, they're backed by the, uh, by, uh, uh, the so-called white men here in America. All right, and, and so and so-called, they, they know what's going on. They know that the, so, they know that the Syrian government are staging attacks. Was there? They're the ones who set up all the film, the film equipment, all right, which is all being funded by the so-called white man. When you go into it, so everybody in the world is being hip to the false flag claims of chemical weapons attack in Syria. Why? Why the hell would he? Why the hell would he uh, do that with more pressure from the West? Because they want a regime change. Esau wants to come into Syria. He wants to go into Iran. He wants to control all Middle East. OK. A number of Middle Eastern TV channels and a re regional affiliate of U.S. broadcaster have shot nine videos in Jashir uh, Shirgar, Shahur City, in a lit province, if I pronounced that correctly, of a staged chemical attack that will be blamed on the Syrian government, the Russian uh, reconciliation. Uh, Reconciliation Center in Syria said in a statement on Wednesday. So this stage chemical attack that everybody knows about outside of America, okay, because news outlets like uh, RT are deemed as propaganda, okay, which is not propaganda. This is just the truth, okay. So they're they're gonna they're gonna stage a false flag attack for pre pretest pretense to go. And to drop bombs in Syria to put more military pressure on Syria, all right. Which this is, this is just ramping. This is just ramping up into the Third World War. Okay, all these nations are seeing this. All, all these nations know what the so-called white man does. Okay, but the so-called white man he has power. He has military power, but that power is waning. Okay. And I'm just going to make this quick. This is the uh, Second Corinthians two. 11, least Satan should get a advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. And this is part of his devices. It's uh, false flags, uh, deception. Okay, that's why we call him the devil. So he, he, he needs justification uh, uh, from the whole world not to be deemed as a demon, which he is a demon. He needs justification in going to these countries to so-called liberate them 
But that's why there's a a migrant crisis. That's why there, there's there, there's all type of crises in the Middle East that are bleeding over into the EU, bleeding over to the U.S. It's because of Esau's hegemony, because he doesn't deal justly. He, he doesn't want anybody to live in peace. He wants everybody to die. He wants to control everybody. So this is part of his devices. It's uh, false flags. OK, uh, manipulating the media, manipulating uh, uh, things that you see. All right. And then setting the stage. OK, to push out his agenda. OK, this is uh, John 10 and 10. The thief come not but to steal, to kill and to destroy. Who is the thief? It's a so-called white man. Uh, just as he came and he stole America. And let's not forget about that. Let's not forget about uh, him stealing uh, uh, the, the, the Southern Kingdom, the so-called black man, the Negroes from Europe, from Africa, all right, and then putting them in slavery. So this is the type of man that we're dealing with, and, and he hasn't changed, okay? So he, so when he goes into a land, he goes in there with the pretext, pretense to, to steal, to kill and destroy. I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. So our Lord, Yahweh Shai, he's coming for us to have life because this is not life. All right, your, your life hangs in doubt. All right, uh, uh, pretty much your whole life because of the so-called white man. He doesn't want to let you breathe. He wants to oppress you. He wants to kill you. He wants to chip you. Okay, so, you know, here, here it is. Don't be surprised if there's a so-called chemicals weapons attack in Syria again where where uh, America is going to send more troops and this is just going to spark more and more attention to this next war uh, uh, proceeding okay let me bring up this it's Revelation 11 and 14 the second woe is past and behold the, th the third woe cometh quickly the third woe is talking about th uh, the third world war which is going to be nuclear war and East, the so-called white man is doing everything in his power to make this happen. All right, he doesn't want peace. Okay, he's not a man of peace. He's a man of war. Okay, he's a man of wicked war, which the heavenly Father is a man of war. But the the, the so-called white man, he's a man of wicked war. He wants war, uh, uh, and he wants to control everything. He doesn't want peace, which he says that he wants peace, but he do, he doesn't come in that in that manner. Okay, so you know. Uh, I pray you brothers will edify with this video. Until next time, I want to say shalom.